uh, are new topic related to uh, Centum VP um, should be a uh, logic chart block or LC64. Uh, logic LC64, um, it has some input element, output element, and uh, logic elements, the, um, the input elements can be 32, the output can be uh, 32 and the uh, logic element can be 64 uh, this is the architecture of LC64 uh, input uh, processing here we have the logic operation based on the input signals and the ultimate uh, signal uh, there are output signal that derive the uh, result of uh, logic operation to the uh, outside world uh, we create a very uh, simple uh, process model here um, we develop the program by using the LC64 uh, I will explain the uh, logic here. It's possible to develop any kind of binary uh, program by using the LC64. Uh, yeah, this is a tank, tank station. We have the pump station here. Uh, the liquid inside the tank uh, will be pumped out of the and tank can uh, in order to start the start the pump we need to uh, enable the startup inhibition sih and then start the start the pump when the pump is started the fsl and the psl signals uh, will be true and the uh, meaning is that the pump uh, the, the pipeline is live and we have the flow and pressure of the liquid uh, it's also possible to turn off the pump by simply uh, disabling the or turning off the stop signal again we need to perform the SIH and the start uh, the pump and uh, simply if we uh, do the level LSL. If we lose the level, the pump will be immediately shut down. And uh, and if uh, in the operation after the SIH, during the SIH, uh, the signals are uh, the signals are inhibited after SIH. If FSL or PSL are uh, turned off, the pump will be uh, the pump will be off. Here, here we lose the PSL and uh, uh, the pump will be off. Uh, the time for SIH is defined here. We increase the uh, SIH uh, startup inhibition time here and uh, so SIH will be longer here I turn on the, the pump here during the SIH uh, the fellow low switch is uh, inhibited and uh, if you have any problem with the incoming flow the, the pump will not be shut down it's a uh, it's a you know safety risk and uh, uh, it should be uh, the SIH time should be mm, selected uh, a safe value some somehow around five seconds uh, we select here 10 for uh, simplicity around well, the operation so this is the uh, simple logic uh, I developed in um, LC64 and uh, you can do more with this uh, uh, 
logic for block and uh, our next slide is somehow about some simple examples i want to um, present you one or one or two i will solve uh, one or two of these examples here i will pause the uh, capturing here and uh, because i need to create a new project and uh, i will resume the um, video again uh, the blank uh, project is created and uh, i want to solve the last uh, problem here we have button one and button two we can switch the red light and the green light can be on if uh, button three is pressed and red light is on uh, it's a very simple uh, program before that uh, we need to Uh, we need to create some uh, uh, we need to create uh, some switches here we need to uh, button one button two uh, sorry button one button two and uh, button three about uh, these are the uh, input signals and uh, two others for the, the lamps uh, there is a red and green red and green here red and green so these are the switches uh, that are necessary for uh, this simple LC64 program uh, the next step will be uh, going to the function block uh, in the FCS and we open one of the uh, drawings in the drawing uh, right click and insert function block in, from the sequence uh, folder uh, select logic chart and uh, insert LC64 and uh, you can select the the name the proper name i select lamp and uh, uh, we go uh, we need to select this block right click uh, edit select edit detail uh, in here we have the option of selecting input elements output elements and logic elements here and uh, you can solve all the uh, you know binary uh, mm, you know, binary problems here simply and um, button one and two red light uh, and it's a four so uh, button one and two so we zoom a bit here we insert input element the first input is b1 dot pb dot on for button one and we have so to make a copy and uh, the next signal is b the next uh if we signal is b2 dot pv dot on uh we need to combine these uh two input signals with the or block here and uh simply you need to select the uh, right click select the wiring here uh select the uh starting point and double click on the end point this is for the first connection and the second connection would be the same uh, so we combine these uh, two signals with the uh, 
to the OR block and we need the uh, we need the, the output element to send the signals to uh, the red I think it was the red light and uh, we should go to the switches I want to be sure it was red yes Uh, for the red, uh, red uh, for the output we should uh, type red dot pv dot dot h or l we select h yeah and right click insert wiring and select the source double click on the part uh, this is the first part mm, let me check the uh, the question again button one or two can switch the red green uh-huh button this press and so this is the next uh the next element is we need to uh insert uh, an ant block here insert ant block insert the ant here uh, let me make a copy of the B2 and uh, we need to change this to B3 for uh, we need to have the red signal here and combine these uh, two signals with the uh, this and right click select the wiring select the starting point double click on the end point again select the starting point and double click on the end point and the next output will be the green lamp very simple I change the name to green uh, right click insert wiring and let me check if green red that's uh, that's okay uh, I developed the program that I, I wanted Mm. if b1 or b2 is pressed the red is uh, the red lamp is on and if uh, b3 and the red is true the green will be on so we update this block lc64 block and uh, we need to save the block here so uh, with the original warning and error uh, we perform the task perfectly the next step will be selecting the FCS and uh, clicking the test uh, test function I will pause the video until uh, the uh, the system totally is uh, live for our function test. So yeah, you can see that uh, we run the test function. The simulation is active, and it's also possible for us uh, to go. On. Uh, live on FCS zero one zero one. Uh, select the uh, drawing and And in the test plate, we need to um, change the uh, uh, in the logic from manual to uh, to automatic for uh, being able to uh, 
perform the execution so we are in the uh, online mode in the logic and uh, we need to zoom so the logic is is available here uh, it's also possible for us to uh, to have all those uh, signals for function test we want b1 b2 b3 and now we uh, you have access to the red and the green so first uh, let me uh, b1 b2 and b3 b1 b2 b3 and then we first we turn on the red and finally check the the green one uh for to to uh, turn on the red uh lamp we uh, have the or block here and at least one of these uh signals b1 or b2 is uh, sufficient for us to turn the uh, red to turn on the red lamp here and uh, in order to turn on uh, the green lamp it's necessary let me bring the gr green lamp here in order to turn on the green lamp i need to uh, i need to have the uh, red uh, red lamp uh, to be on and b3 uh, to be on at the same time if i turn off uh, the red lamp uh, in order to turn off the red lamp i need to uh, also turn off the b2 uh, when the red lamp is turned off uh, you can see that the green is also uh, is off uh, let me uh, start again we have b1 b2 start the red and again b3 uh, is on and the green will be started in order to turn off the green you need to turn off uh, either the b3 the green is off or uh, either the uh, red signal let me turn off uh, the red signal so when the red signal is off the green is also off uh, it's a very simple uh, LC64 uh, binary uh, program you can de develop very complex uh, examples with this uh, uh, capability uh, it will provide more complex uh, programs in the uh, next topics and uh, thank you for watching please don't forget forget to subscribe to our uh, youtube channel thank you